Hello. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel. Those my cats getting fed. It's five o'clock here. Five o'clock somewhere. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and I run the blog Elements of Style and I also make some YouTube videos sometimes. A lot of the time I'm talking about more girly things, if you will, or more woman focused, but today I'm talking about men's swimsuits. So get excited. I may even have a little special guest for you at the end. So ever since moving to Los Angeles, swimsuits have become more of a staple in our household rather than like a seasonal item. And that's because we go to the beach at least once a week and my husband is kind of crazy in the sense that he gets in the water most every time. And I say that's crazy just because this is the Pacific Ocean, which is pretty cold. <laughs> and comparatively speaking to other oceans or the Gulf of Mexico that I grew up going to. So we go to the beach a lot. Swimsuits are something we use at least once a week. So it became more of something that I was okay spending more money on and having more options just because we go so frequently. Another thing that we've picked up, well, I haven't because I'm pregnant, but Nick has started playing more sand volleyball. And so a lot of the times he will want to wear a swimsuit because we're on the beach and he'll want to like dip in the ocean after they play. He'll want to wear a swimsuit, but it's also kind of hard because he's like diving at volleyballs and you want to have something that's stretchy, like an athletic sort, but still a swimsuit. So, he had told me several times, hey, I'd love to find like a more stretchy athletic swimsuit. And I, I kind of went in one ear and out the other because I haven't had really time to look for it. And I didn't really know if they existed. And if they did, I thought they'd be really expensive. But I was scrolling Instagram, an ad came up for Fair Harbor. And then I saw it again on Facebook and I was like, okay, I gotta check these out. They say that they're made with like stretch and athletics in mind and they look really comfortable. They have this special liner that's not annoying or mesh or net or uncomfortable or chafing. So I was like, I'll try it. I ordered two different styles just to see if Nick would like them and he ended up loving them. I'll show you a video of what his initial reaction was here. So do you like your new swimsuit? These are awesome. Your swimsuit that I got I you? So, look at all this. <laughs> okay. I, can even, I can go deep. <laughs> Deep lunges? Give the people what they want. All right, cool. I'll go full split, but I don't think you guys are ready to see Yeah, shift. okay, okay. So anyway, spoiler alert, he likes them, but I'm gonna talk about why we like them and why they're such a cool swimsuit brand. So to give you a little background of Fair Harbor, Fair Harbor is founded by a guy named Jake and his sister Caroline. I'm not gonna try to pronounce their last name because I'm unsure how to say it and I'll probably butcher it. So we're just calling them Jake and Caroline, but they're brother and sister and they founded Fair Harbor back in 2014, it's 2021 right now, and they founded it in 2014 with a $20,000 grant that they won. They grew up vacationing in Fair Harbor, New York, which is where the name comes from, and they wanted to make a swimsuit that was comfortable, but also that cared about the waterways and the oceans that they grew up loving. One way that they care about the oceans is that they take plastic bottles and upcycle them into fabric for their swimsuits. Each swimsuit has a different amount of plastic bottles in it and a great way to clean up the oceans and use the waste or something good. I also really like that they practice what they preach because they have a swimsuit recycle program to where you can send it in and then you get $5 off your next swimsuit purchase for up to $25 off of your next Fair Harbor purchase. And they also take other swimsuits, so not just their brand, but other grimy swimsuits that are probably sitting in your closet in your drawer with the elastic dying that's crunchy you know what i'm talking about so anyway they really practice what they preach in that way all the swimsuits that are donated or recycled sent back to them are given to to rewear and they use it for insulation and rugs sustainability and eco-friendliness are things that are often discussed with fair trade and ethical work practices but it isn't something that necessarily goes hand in hand unless the business is trying in both aspects. So I really like that not only are they eco-friendly, but they also pay attention to 
what is going on in the world and making sure that they work with good factories. They are headquartered in New York. They produce their swimsuits in a lot of different places, be it the United States, Peru, and Pakistan. And through those partners, they make sure that they are paying their workers fairly, compliance with the workers' safety, and also trying to reduce waste as much as possible they're also sustainable. If you go to the ocean a lot, like they did growing up, you see plastic and things like that. So I think it's really cool that they are trying to fix an issue where they get to enjoy their product. I'm impressed by Caroline and Jake in general, be it through their product and the fact that they sold over $18 million. But what's even more impressive is that they're both under 30. So go them, great role models in the Gen Z class. So why do we like Fair Harbor swimsuits? I'm gonna start with the with the athletic sense of it, just because that's what I was looking for when I found them. And their swimsuits are a four-way stretch. Oops. A four-way stretch, so you're gonna have give here. You can dive for a volleyball or dive into a pool, and it's not going to be too tight. So four-way stretch here, the elastic, which is a great stretchy little swimsuit. It also is athletic in the sense of you think like, dry fit Nike. This this isn't dry fit because that's a Nike product, but it has durable water repellent, which helps it, helps it dry quickly. So whether it's sweat or, you know, water from the ocean or the pool, it's not going to just like be hanging on you wet and uncomfortable. Okay, guys, this is where it might get you because it's pretty cool in my opinion, but they're known for their breeze knit liner, which is actually comfortable. And if you don't want a liner, they do have some of without line liners, which I will talk about in a minute. But basically, this is the liner in their swimsuit. And it is like underwear. It's soft, it's stretchy. Nick says it's really comfortable. I'll let him say it for himself, but really comfortable, won't cause chafing. Just really feels more like an athletic short with support, I guess. This is like a game changer just because it's not an annoying mesh. It's not like an underwear that you want to like cut out. But there's another one. It's a little bit different, but yeah, it's like a stretchy jersey little underwear liner. Another reason that I've already kind of talked about is they upcycle plastic and their swimsuits are almost made of like 90% recycled plastic bottles, which is really cool. Each swimsuit's different, so it's a little bit different. Fiber content on each one as well, but it's a huge amount, especially for this whole guy. I think they've removed something like 7 million plastic bottles from the ocean, so win-win all around. Another reason I like them is I think that they don't just scream like I'm a swimsuit, and so they actually made them in mind to where you can wear them from the beach to the boardwalk, to where this is cute. Like, you could put on a white t-shirt or a white button-down and it would, in a hat maybe, I don't know, something cute, and it would look like a cute little put together outfit that's also like, hey, I might go to the beach later, I may not. They're very attractive looking swimsuits that don't say like, I'm a board short, wear me to the pool only. So they're versatile in that aspect and they're comfortable enough to wear, you may wanna wear them other places. Okay, the next thing, I love a good functional property when it comes to swimsuits. It has like real working pockets and then also a back pocket that zips. So you can put something important in here, just if it's your phone, don't go swimming with it. I guess they're waterproof now, but anyway, they have this zipper pocket where you can put important things that you don't want to fall out in the ocean, but not all swimsuits have pockets for guys. I mean, girls, we don't have pockets unless you want to count the bikini top, but not all swimsuits have pockets for guys. And if they do, sometimes they're like the fake ones that don't actually work. So these have pockets. And then last but not least, the other thing we like is that their recycle program, which I think just, again, practicing what you preach is just not everybody does it these days. So we love that about them. Which swimsuits does Nick have? I will show you some pictures of him in these, but this is the anchor. It has an eight inch inseam. So it's their longest short option. It is lined. It's made with 88% of recycled polyester. That's what has the um, plastic bottles in it. And 12% spandex, and then this swimsuit uses 12 plastic water bottles per swimsuit. So this is the Bayberry, and it is seven inches, so it's a little bit shorter. They do have one that goes shorter if you want it shorter, but this is a seven inches. It's still not too short 
for Nick in his opinion. He's a big dude. It goes all with your personal preference. So seven inch inseam here and it's also lined. This one has 80% recycled polyester, which in comparison to the anchor that has 88%. So that's going to be a little bit more stretchy. This has 12% cotton and then 8% spandex. So it's not as stretchy as the anchor, but it still has a lot of give. And this one has 11 water bottles, whereas the anchor has 12, which again makes sense because this has more recycled polyester in it. So anyway, those are these for that. Also the drawstrings are different. So this is like the round knitted drawstring, whereas the anchor has the flat drawstring. I think this is just more of like the board short sporty look. And then this is more of like the fashion forward look. I don't think they're make or break either way. I think it just fits the style. I also have some other options if neither of those tickled your fancy. Without seeing their sales, I, with my fashion merchandising background, would guess that these are their best sellers, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about the other ones in case neither of these are what you're looking for. They have the Ozone, which is also an eight inch inseam short, so similar to this. It is also lined. What's different about it is that it was designed for, I think, more sporty than swimming. You can still swim in it, but it was designed, I think, for, it said, high intensity things. So if you do a lot of sporty things, more than just surf, sand, and beach volleyball, that one might be for you. What makes it different is it has this, in the back of the swimsuit, it has this performance stretch. And this is not an ozone, but I'm just showing you where it is. In the back, it has this uh, stretchy waistband that uh, just get, has a little bit more give. I'll go into where to buy them later, but that one is only available on the Fair Harbor website. Another option they have if you are into the eight inch inseam is a Nautilus board short. I think I saw that right. So we're just gonna pretend. The Nautilus board short is different in the sense that it's unlined. So if you don't want a liner, I promise, I mean, I haven't put this on, but Nick says they're really comfortable. But if you don't want a liner, go with that one and it's your traditional like eight inch board short. Another option they have is called the one short. And so this is, I don't think fit for swimming at all. I guess you could if you wanted to, but it's really meant for like, I think boardwalk uh, summer styles. It comes in lined and unlined, the eight inch inseam. So I think you'd go for this if you really like the Fair Harbor product and you want to try another short of theirs just to go in your casual wardrobe. This is also a Fair Harbor exclusive. Last but not least is their sextant trunk. This is more similar to the Bayberry. It is a six inch inseam instead of a seven inch inseam. So it's gonna be their shortest style. It is lined and it's meant for swimming and like the very fashion forward. So how do they size? Guys don't really have this problem like girls have when it comes to how swimsuits fit but I think they size true to size according to what I know about Nick's clothes and his body size. He wears an extra large in swimsuits and wears an extra large in the Fair Harbor ones. They go from small to 3XL. I think that they fit more American than they do European. He has some like scotch and soda swimsuits that I think run like more European and, and smaller, but he can still wear the XL. So if you're looking for something like that, you might want to size down. I think if you're doing that, you're probably also buying the Bayberry or the Sextant, so it might be okay as is just because it is a smaller swimsuit. But overall, I, I think that they, they size true to size and just get your regular size. I always like to talk about care labels just because it's something that not a lot of people read. <laughs> and so how we care for them, the care label says to, let me just read it to you actually. Machine wash in cold water with light colors in tumble dry low. Do not ring, do not bleach. So I do machine wash the swimsuits, but I line dry or hang to dry my swimsuits just because it makes them last longer. I know some people are like, throw it in the dryer or bust, but I think that swimsuits last longer, especially the elastic in a swimsuit will be better for longer if it's not in a dryer. So it says you can dry it go ahead and dry it, but we machine wash in cold and hang to dry. So where to purchase these, they are available on the Fair Harbor website, which is a great website. I have nothing bad to say about it. However, I like to buy them from Nordstrom because you get free shipping. On the Fair Harbor website, you have to spend $75. Oh, I guess I haven't talked about the price yet. Um, these come in at $68. So to spend $75, you need to buy more than one swimsuit. So I guess 
if you're gonna love them, number one. So you can just go ahead and buy two from the Fair Harbor website. But if you're just gonna buy one and see how it is, I'd probably buy it from Nordstrom just because you get the free shipping and you don't have to spend $75. Uh, you can just spend your 68 plus tax. The benefit to the Fair Harbor website though is that they have a larger selection. They don't run out of styles as often as Nordstrom I think does just because they're popular. But those are the two places I know to order them from. Okay, now we're gonna kind of talk about the price. So my next and final question is just are Fair Harbor swimsuits worth the money? Are they worth the price? And in my opinion, I mean, I have a degree in fashion merchandising, so I think that is a little bit higher than just the average consumer just because this apparel is my background. I do think that they are worth the price of $68 because I bought them online from an Instagram ad and I saw it on Facebook too. I did read the comments and the only negative thing I've ever seen people say about it is the price. And at $68, I can see how that is probably double what most people spend on a swimsuit. I mean. I don't know, because my background is apparel, I am very much okay justifying spending things, especially for a company that is, you know, living the American dream and making a wonderful product and paying their workers well. So for me, it's worth it. I think the quality is great too. Nick has some swimsuits that are more expensive than these that I don't think the quality are as high. So I think that they are worth the money. I totally understand if they're not in your budget, but yeah, I do think it's worth the $68. I think it's worth it to support Jake and Caroline's business and the dream. And obviously I love that Nick can wear these and he likes wearing them and he can wear them to volleyball and to the beach and just feel comfortable and confident in what he's wearing. I kind of already mentioned this too, but in addition to paying their workers well, they are also eco-friendly, which is not cheap. It's not cheap to take the higher ground. It's not cheap to pay your workers more. So. I, to me, I just like to reward that behavior with supporting them. I do think these are the nicest swimsuits that Nick has, and I like that they're so cute and that they're versatile to where he could wear them out and it would look like a cute outfit. They're versatile, it's like a two for one, if you will, in regard to that. Also, Nick wears his clothes very hard, and so I just think that they hold up well and are good quality. But now that I've talked about it, maybe let's hear from Nick. Now, a word from Nick. We are talking about the Fair Harbor swimsuits, so. Um, My new bikinis. Your new bikinis. Do you have anything you wanna say about them? How you like them? I've already given everyone a rundown of it, so speak from the heart. Um, and I've also shown them the video when you first tried them on, so they already have that too. Interesting. Um, they, I think they look good, and I like the length. They're shorter than most of the swimsuits I've had before, which I like. And then also, I can play volleyball and run around in these, and they're super comfortable almost more comfortable than regular athletic shorts. So I like them. Bye, recommend. <laughs> Plural, we cannot recommend them enough. We definitely suggest them. And once baby boy of the twins are here, they're below both, we're at the same time. Once, once he's big enough, we'll get a swimsuit for him too because they have a kid's line. They also have other lines too. They have some shirts and pants and we haven't tried those, but of course would be interested in trying them. And we'll let you know if we do just because we like the brand as a whole and I'm sure they're wonderful. It is such a good brand to support and produce from and we hope you liked our video. If you want more videos with Nick, you know, let me know. If you have any questions we didn't cover, feel free to leave them in the comments. I have a blog post with all this on there that I'll leave it as well. You can email me at lauren at elementsofstyle.com. Leave a message on the blog, on Instagram, at elmalinas. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>